Hi everyone! So in this video, I'll be showing you part 2, how to decorate the ear cuff. If you haven't seen part 1, which is just making the simple cuff, click on the box and you can see part 2 after. If you like what you see here, stay tuned! Here's what you need. Charms, just or pearl beads, whatever you like. Swarovski stuff. Little tiny crystals. And then you want jump rings to hold your things together clasps for these kind of um, Swarovski charms, your pliers, so a round nose, cutting one, and the flat nose, some chain, really fine chain, different types of earring posts like the ear hook or the stud, so the ear cuffs that we made from last time. So here are a couple of them can't really see very clearly but I'll post a link in the box below and also right here so click if you haven't seen the first part and also you want your pencil just in case those cuffs go out of shape and a ruler so the first thing you want to do is obviously measure the chain I'm gonna be using two pieces one's gonna be uh, seven centimeters long so that's gonna be the shorter piece and then I'm just gonna cut it with my pliers. So that's going to be the shorter piece. And the second piece is going to be nine pieces, I mean nine centimeters long. Here are your two pieces. Obviously the short one's going to go on top and the longer one's going to go on the bottom. And this time I'm just going to use this, this ear cuff that we made. Um, cause we can just attach a jump ring here and attach the two chains. However, if you want to use a different style of ear cuff where the opening is where the coils are, you can put the jump ring directly onto the ear cuff as shown in the picture here. I'm going to take a jump ring and then put it through the middle hole in the coil. And then I'm going to put in the two pieces of coil. Just gonna put in the bottom one first, like the longer one in first. And then the shorter one. And then take your flat nose pliers and close the ring. Actually I would take two pliers because it's hard with my nails, they're kind of soft so they might bend. And then I'm gonna take, just, I'm gonna take this one, this ear post right here. And I'm gonna connect another jump ring. Just unbend it. Basically connect it. And then again, I'm gonna put in the bottom one first, although I'm, I don't think it really matters. As long as it's not tangled up, then it's fine. your two pliers and close it. So here's the general shape of your ear cuff. For this, I also forgot to tell you you need one of these little hooks just for the pearl because I want to make it longer. So I'm just going to put in the pearl, take your round nose pliers, this should be the right length, and bend it back. a little bend. See that? Just readjust if needed. So it's something like that. It's not perfect. And then I'm gonna connect the seahorse charm to it. It's so just that and then close the ring. It's better if you use a longer one of these or pre-bended thing before you put in the bead. So here's your first charm. And here's the second one. So take your Swarovski and take the little clamp. And just put it through the hole and basically clamp it down. Here it is. And then what you'd want to do, because this ring is already open, I'm going to close it. Because it's easier to open the jump ring later and connect it that way.
it's close. And now I'm gonna just basically connect everything together. Open the jump ring again. Put the heart one first if you will like. And then the seahorse. And close the ring. Ta-da! And now it's not finished yet because I want to add a little bit more. So like this little pretty crystal right here. Droplet shape. Um, what I'm going to do is actually cut another piece of this. Two centimeters. So that, like, that long. So what I'm going to do is open this jump ring. It's actually really thin wire that I pre-made. Now this time I can use my fingers because it's really soft. And then I'm going to open this jump ring again, place the chain in. It's a lot of chain. That's why I would suggest using a really thin one so it's not overwhelming. But here is the finished look. It actually turned out better than I thought it would have. But yeah, here it is. If you're not really into the under the sea theme, you can go with this one that I made for my friend. It's more simple with just flowers and pearls in a red Swarovski bicone. Basically, it's the same thing with double chain with the same cuff but thicker wire. And instead of using ear pokes, I use earring hooks, uh, two pearls, and two flower charms. I also use eye pins to hold the pearls together and also the charm. And instead of having the dangly red bicone on the ear cuff, I have it on the actual earring. So you can always make it your own, you don't have to follow this exactly. It's just, you can do whatever you like um, and be creative. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial and good luck!